Welcome everyone. Um, today we're going to talk about um, week five of our course, focusing on critical aspects of professional and interprofessional identities with the healthcare sector. Um, so our exploration aims to talk about what identities look like, understand their impact on team dynamic, and also patient care, and discover strategies of effective integration. Um, as healthcare for professionals, our ability to navigate and meld um, these identities can significantly enhance our collaborative practices. So it's important to make sure that we're looking at how to improve our patient outcomes and have more rewarding experiences for ourselves. So we're going to dive into it. I'm going to ahead of time apologize for not being able to make our 5 p.m. I had to record this um, before um, that time because I have an, another commitment. All right, so um, the objectives, um, our session is structured around these three key objectives. First, we'll, we're gonna explore the differences and connections between professionals and interprofessional identities. I'm gonna shed some light on their significance in healthcare. Well, we're gonna then analyze case studies that highlight how these identities can be integrated successfully within team di dynamics, um, making sure that we're offering insight into the challenges and triumphances of, of such um, efforts. Lastly, we're going to discuss um, practical strategies for fostering a harmonious integration of diverse professional identities in healthcare settings. And so throughout this um, presentation today, I hope that you're able to gain some knowledge and tools to navigate and enrich the interprofessional landscape effectively. All right, so professional identity is at the heart of how we see ourselves in our healthcare roles. It encompasses our beliefs, values, and the ethical principles we adhere to. Um, deeply influenced by our training and experiences. For example, um, a nurse professional identity might be rooted in patient advocacy and compassionate care, while a physician might um, emphasize diagnostic expertise and treatment planning. So acknowledging um, these unique um, professional identities is crucial as we move towards more integrated form of practice. So therefore, understanding our own and our colleagues' professional identities allows for a greater empathy and also collaboration in interprofessional teams. Interprofessional identity um, transcends individual professional boundaries, focusing instead on collective goals and shared responsibilities into, in patient care. So it's about building a team um, identity where the expertise of all professionals is valued equally. So for example, in a successful interprofessional team, a pharmacist, physical therapist, a nurse, uh, and physician, they all work together, um, each bringing their own unique perspective to patient care planning, resulting in more holistic approach for the patient. And so this collective identity um, supports a culture of mutual respect and understanding, which is essential for effective collaboration and optimal patient outcomes. So the process or the journey from recognizing our individual professional identities to embracing a shared interprofessional inter, um, professional identity is filled with challenges, um, including overcoming biases and navigating role confusion, right? We talked about this in weeks two, three, and four um, about competencies and how um, important the identification of roles is. And so interprofessional education, which is you know, why you're participating in this course, serves as a bridge providing um, shared learning experiences that emphasize collaborative skills and mutual understanding. So by the end of this, our goal is to hammer into you the importance of learning um, together, right? And so by participating in IPE, healthcare professionals learn to appreciate the value each profession brings to patient care, fostering a more integrated approach to healthcare delivery. Um, this shift is very important because it's crucial for developing teams that are agile, empathetic, um, and um, effective in their collaborative efforts. So our exploration through these case studies today um, show us the transition from distinct professional identities to a unified interprofessional identity. So in example one, within a hospital environment, an interprofessional team comprising individuals from various healthcare disciplines collaborate closely. Um, and so initially, it's important to identify um, how their respective fields interact with each other. These practitioners experience a shift towards um, an interprofessional identity as they work together. 
so recognizing the value in each other's expertise and contributing to a collective goal of improved patient care is one of the main goals for them. An example too, we're at a primary care clinic um, and this um, specific example exemplifies the evolution of interprofessional education and, and collaborative practice. So practitioners from diverse back backgrounds come together uh, for team-based rounds, initially reviewing themselves primarily through the lens of their specific professions. And then through active collaboration and shared contributions towards patient care, they begin to see beyond the confines of their original role. This process um, fosters a deeper appreciation um, for the contribution of the team methods that are used. And so gradually integrating their professional identities into cohesive interprofessional identities centered on holistic patient care. So these cases demonstrate the dynamic nature of professional self-identification within an interprofessional setting. Practitioners evolve from seeing themselves um, solely as representatives of their individual professions to embracing a broader, more inclusive identity that acknowledges the importance of each discipline um, in providing comprehensive patient care. And so again, this is a shift that occurs um, and that helps foster a collaborative healthcare environment. In the end, um, we're looking for collective expertise of a team, and this expertise is then leveraged to achieve the best possible outcomes for patients. So let's talk about team dynamics and identity integration. Um, integrating diverse professional identities within a team enhances dynamics by fostering an environment of trust, respect, and open communication. When each team member um, identifies their profession um, and it acknowledges and values it, it encourages a more inclusive and innovative approach to care. So, you know, another example is to consider a surgical team where the surgeon, anesthesiologist, the nurse, and technicians view each other as equals in the mission to ensure patient safety and outcomes. This mutual respect and trust leads to smoother operations, fewer errors, and more positive work environment for all involved. All right, so to support the integration of diverse professional identities, we can employ several strategies. Education is key. Um, with interprofessional education, fostering early exposure to collaborative practice is also crucial. And so that's why we're gonna see across different universities, including MCPHS mentorship programs um, that can play a vital role, pairing um, novice with experienced practitioners from different disciplines to share knowledge and insights. Furthermore, um, organizations are actually creating policies that support and reward collaborative effort um, that encourages professionals to engage more deeply with interprofessional practices. Um, we see this at different organizations um, via brown bags or trainings or interprofessional opportunities. And so these strategies help cultivate an environment where the diverse professionals um, identify um, as being part of a team and their identities are not just recognized, but cherished and leveraged. Lastly, um, promoting reflective practice that encourage individuals to contemplate their roles with interprofessional teams. Um, this can deepen their understanding and foster growth. And so these strategies when implemented thoughtfully can significantly enhance the integration of professional identities leading to a culture of collaboration and excellence in healthcare. All right, so as we conclude um, this slide section, I, I try to be very brief. We're gonna be under 10 minutes today, um, but it's important to reflect on our journey through the exploration of professional and professional identities. We've seen how these identities shape our roles and interactions within healthcare teams and the profound impact they can have on patient care. And so moving forward, it's very important that we continue to engage in interprofessional education, embrace diversity within our teams, and commit to reflective practice. One of the important things is that when we do this, we can ensure that our healthcare system um, is not only more collaborative, but also more compassionate and patients in our care. So let's take these insights, apply them in our practice. Um, if you're not in clinical care, this is also applicable, and a lot of you know this, um, in education too. Um, in any career, um, it's important to strive to bridge gaps, foster understanding, and ultimately enhance the health and well-being of those we serve. 
And so that is the end um, of our presentation for this week. Um, I will put out an announcement with updates. Thank you and have a great one. I just wanted to add um, that we have um, these references and these are part of your week five references.